Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Today I'm going to go and do the maze. So we're going to start. First of all I'm going to do a few little bit prep things. So let's start with that. I think the first thing I need to do is actually get my jetpack charged up a little bit because it's probably a bit not charged up so much. And then we'll move things around and then we'll go. Um, while that's charging we'll have a look at Duncan's yes big dirt yesterday. Where's my jetpack? I need it off, don't I? In fact, I'm going to take these off and repair these as well. So the other bits of diamond armor are going to repair. Let's get this jet. I won't need too much power in the jetpack, really, to be honest with you, because we're not going to travel that much. But we are going to repair these, so let's do those first of all. I'll just take the stack and the rest of these. Let's put them over here and get this repaired, just in case we need anything. That'll do too, good. So that gets those two repaired, let's put those on. And let's get some more XP. <laughs> Hi, realised I need a little bit of XP. Oh yes, I want to upgrade this drum. But I think we'll do that at another episode, because it's full. And it might be causing lag, because there'll probably be XP drops everywhere else. So. Now what else do I want to do? I want to go put this, these back, don't I? Don't need those. So let's have a look at Duncan's uh, dirt from yesterday. When I did this, so it's, it's all to do with the Empower. I should have used, as Maliqua tells me, I should have used um, oak saplings. So I've got some oak saplings here. So all I need to do now is put the oak saplings in this one here. And then we can see, in this chest we've got one empowered emerald crystal i did that just to test it out stand over here i put that into here so if we put this into there you'll see it's doing it and every time it's done one it gives that little sort of splashy type explosion and in here we'll find at least four now and it'll do a five i think because we've got i had five uh, slime balls no nope. five what did i have oh yeah five slime but four slime balls so, I'll also put these into the um, upgrade some machines while we're here. I made some upgrades. I also created some aluminum seeds for the next one. I didn't intend to complete a quest, but I did do. So I reckon that one of these we can upgrade is probably the, the induction smelter, like that. And the second one we can upgrade Possibly the uh, Magna Crucible because that tends to be on the slow side. Let's do that one. I know those are just upgraded, but they've got now space for augments, and I haven't put another speed augment in here yet. And I haven't put anything in there yet. We'll leave that until another time, I think. Let's get out of here. This. Oh, yes, that's right. One more thing. Let's leave that in there before we go then. One more thing. I was asking about what I should put on my shuriken. And Sir Harry tells me I should put interference on it. And I thought about that, that's actually a very good idea, but what one I would like to do, in fact, is probably the necrotic bone. So let's take these two out of here. The, re the reason I'd like to do the necrotic bone is because it'll give a bit of health back when I'm doing it. And I've got a charm for Enderman anyway, so the Enderman can't see me. So let's have a look at that. In this charm belt, can we see what's actually in there without taking it off? So I should have an Enderman charm. It doesn't tell me what they are, but one of these will be... Oh, what's that one? It's got damage on it. Interesting. I didn't know they took damage. Let's have a look at that. A blaze charm. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't realise it did that. I wonder. And that's the only one with damage. Why would that one be? What have we got in here? Uh, tell you what, take them all out double check these in fact I can put the ones in now well, that's actually looks that's a blaze charm what's this one an enderman charm can't see you with this that's the one I've got so they can't see me so let's put the enderman charm in this one zombie charm zombies can't see well we've not seen any zombies yet we've seen zombie pigmen I wonder if the zombie pigmen's dis disappeared what's this one With a skeleton charm. Okay, that's fair enough. And I think this is a skeleton charm. Ah. 
can't see it do it this way. Skeleton charm. So I've lost my zombie pigment charm. Ah, that must explain it. Okay. Right, then, in that case, it's a good idea <laughs> to make another one of those. Huh. I didn't realise that. Let's have a look at that zombie pigment charm. So the one we want is possibly the zombie creeper charm, which charm, zombie pigment charm. Okay, so we need six of these in leather, and that's no big deal string. So these are that plus a diamond sword. Okay, so we should have those. Well, I was wondering why it wasn't working anymore. <laughs> it wasn't working anymore because I've got it left, have I? <laughs> hmm. What do I just... Yeah, that's right, isn't it? I think that's right. So. Zombie pigment jump. Oh, we need six of these. Oh, okay, I've just made... Right, we need... Honestly, we need 42 of those. And... Oh, okay, just get a stack and stop messing around here. Huh? Those and a stack of those. And then we need some golden swords. We need six golden swords. I've been throwing those away like crazy. What I've got in here? None. Okay, no big deal. Let's take a stack of gold. So we need six golden swords, uh, sticks. Let's put that up back. We'll put that in the other place. So we should be able to make these charm things now. Somebody big and charm. Of course, I'll have to make them one at a time. Because of the swords not being stackable. I wonder how it actually works then. It was wrong. Four. Five. Six. And the uses that one. So now we have a zombie pigment charm again, and I could put the rest of this stuff away. Oh, actually, I'll put the gold in here because I know I'm short of gold. I must have lost. What have I done with the gold? Oh, I'll put it in there, fine. That'll do. Oops, I want to put that one into this, don't I? Right, good. I don't want to put this stuff away. Let's just do it on here. Good. Ah, well, that explains something that's been puzzling me for a while. I didn't realize that they disappeared over time. So I have to watch that. Well, that's, and I'm not sure what the criteria is either. So what have we got in here? I want to put those back into that because uh, it's just a place to store them. It's a place I use them. I want to make some more torches. Let's do that. I will make uh, half a stack of these, which will give me 16. Uh, I've only got nine pieces of coal in this, so it doesn't really help that much, but it'll give me enough torches, I think. We don't need, oh, eight pieces of coal. We don't need that many um, torches for this expedition, I don't think. Um, I think that's it. So I've got to make sure I've got the right stuff on me, so I'll take this out of here. I'll put it on. And we'll get ourselves prepared. So we're going to need an addiction torch. Very important. We're going to need some food. We're going to need some more food, and I've got that prepared in the furnace. Probably don't need this, but it's better safe than sorry, isn't it? I'm going to put this and uh, I'm going to swap that over and put that on the, the bread side over here, and then put the rest of this bread on that. Should give me plenty of bread. I'll put this away up here. Uh, what else do I need? I might need a return scroll. That's linked to base, just in case we get into trouble very early on. I don't. I need that one. I suspect I'm going to need food. Got some kits. Let's make sure we've got one kit out already, just in case. I don't need the, this. Let's put this away. 
I'm going to take the wool out just because it, it might be needed. I think that'll do for now. Oh, we need a drop of evil. Actually, I'll take my bow out just in case I come across something else. What have we got in here? Doom arrow, doom. This is fine, good. Right, that's it. I think we're ready to go. So let's get the warp stone out here. And let's go in and do this. Oh, no, not quite ready yet. Let's put my torch. Let's put this down here because the first thing we're going to come across is five. Um. Oh, I'm going to come across this five. Is five. Um, what are they called? Spawners. Yeah, I was looking for the word there. <laughs> Stop. Thank you. Right, let's go and get these. There's one underneath here. So I'm going to put a torch down here to start with. That's going to keep things at bay back there. And down here there's another one. Let's get that out of there. I can use this now, of course, to place this rubbish that I don't want in here. So let's get rid of this stuff. Um, probably don't need that emergent urgently on me. What else do I need in here? I think that will probably do. Let's take this food out of here. And the apples. Let's just take the apples out of here. And up here there'll be some mobs coming from crate like crazy. So let's get rid of these. Let's get number one and start shooting at the top. These creepers are horrible. I don't like these creepers at all. And those are not very nice either. Those, but we can keep them out of the way for the time being. Now at the top of here, there is a spawner. I think it's here. That's the one. Yep. Yeah. In fact, at the top of all the steps, there's spawner. So let's let's get rid of that spawner as well. We if we don't, we get rid of oh creeper chunk. That's actually good. And gunpowder. That's not good. Right. Let's take this up with me. Get this in hand and put up the next. Get up the next steps. I think here's probably a good place to put that. And there's probably another. There's probably another one here. Let's go. And, yeah. Indeed, there is. And that was actually a, a magical one. No, she's not such a different. You can't get to me. Let's get to him. We well, can get to me. Please take my sword. <laughs> There's one of these magical ones. They're a pain. I've got my glove on me. Let's, let's get him. Let's get him like this. Right, good. So I've got strength. What did I pick up for that? I have another spawner and that I need this one picking up that's in the wrong position let's put that there we really want this one beside us and I'm going to put this in here like that so we go up the next layer and I have probably another spawner in here indeed there is in fact that was the one for those pesky things let's just get rid of this thing before I get my inventory filled up what I can do here is shift Behavior, double tap to toggle, move to back. There we go. I've got some other bits in here I don't want. Right, okay, that's that bit done. Let's get up to the next floor. Ah, oh, there's probably another spawner behind here. Oh, there isn't in this case. Just to make sure there's no spawners around, let's just knock a bit more. I think they're not everywhere. Oh, they are good. Putting that on the side there does prevent some damage from the other mobs. Let's just... If the magical mob comes along... There we go. Another one of those. I'm pretty certain they're only at the top of the stairs. But there's no shortage of spawners, as you can see. Some 
Oh, there's nether mites, and they're pretty tough actually, those nether mites. Interesting. Of course, with the Nank Nank <laughs> Dank Null, with the Dank Null, it's quite good because you can get up, you can get. Oops, wrong one. With the, oh look, here we are. One of those little big lighters. Let's just get rid of him. Number one out. Indeed, there's a spawner there. Let's get rid of that one. Let's put that. Oh, got that one and spawner. Good to get rid of those two. We should be able to get up to the next floor. And I'll bet you there's another one up here. Oh. Good. Right, I think we're reaching the top. I think we're getting towards the top of this now. Ah, yeah, that just got that down in time. Did you see that? I'm sure you did. Let's go and get rid of this guy. Good. Now that's interesting. There might be another spawner just there. Let's get this torch out of place. Oh, I've got two gunpowder. Don't want those. Ooh, we'll probably need to eat. Let's do that. In that case, there's probably a spawner up here. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me what type of spawner is out. There is a way to find out, the, but it's NTB data you need, so. Nope. Ah, <laughs> look. Some friends, and they can't get to me, which is good. Just hold down the mic, right? Of course, once you've hit one, you get the other one quite quickly. So there'll be another spawner up here, I guess. Yeah, indeed. Let's get rid of that spawner. Is that a blazing joke or not? Good, at least it's not a, a difficult one. So we can get rid of him at the same time, I think. Where's he gone to? Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you spawn? In that case, there's probably another one here, and if he spawned from that one, nope, nope, wrong place. It's always the first one up. He's gonna get the torch. As you can see, there's no shortage of spawners. I think that's a, oh, just an ordinary blaze. We're going to end up with a lot of spawners by the time we get to this bit done, I can tell you. down from there. It basically resets, I think, every time you go past this. If I can get past that, of course. Let's take this one. Hey! How's he getting past my torch? Alright, okay. That 
That's interesting. I don't know how he got past the torch. We got there a blazing one. This is going to take a while to get rid of the blazing ones for certain. I'm taking a hit from something, but I'm not sure. It's probably the blazing thing. 189. <laughs> See how strong these things are? They've always been strong for the whole of part of the game, so it's... Because once you get your strength, you can, they go down a little bit faster, but... I've got to eat soon, <laughs> too. The trouble is there are spawners at the top above here, too. Another one! No way! I should eat a bit. Because I've been... Look, because I've been... Oh, I don't think I've been with it. That's a bit inconvenient. <laughs> I'd rather not have too many blazing uh, juggernauts to deal with. I'm just uh, I'm just holding down the um, the mouse button, by the way, the right mouse button, and the shuriken's doing most of the work. 138. Still a long time to go, I reckon. Of course you get the strength and it helps a lot. It is Sapper Rust. The Pale Rider. <sighs> Hopefully that's not that's another one, isn't it? Trouble is just right at this doorway. You know what I should do? But I'm not going to do it now. Let's put down another um, torch. Hundred and seventeen. Hundred and four. He's hitting me a bit. Oh, right, I got some hearts from that. Let's get rid of these things up here. Oh, they're not here. Where are they all? Okay. Now, let's get my torch. Let's take these four hearts, because they ain't going to do any harm, are they? Oops, try again. <laughs> let's take this, go up to the top here, put this down here. Oops, no, here. What can I put? Oh. Right, now the spawners. They're underneath these. There's none there. None there. One underneath here. Let's get that one. One underneath here. Let's get that one. I think there's three somewhere. Here we go. There's three up here. Oh, that's lava. <laughs> Lava's not such a threat to me these days, but we'll just put just to be safe. We'll just put this down like that. Block that one up there. Yeah. Good. There's more. There's another blazing juggernaut over there. I'll have to deal with him. I thought there were some spawners up here. Let me just put a torch up here. You can't see. Right, there he is. Unless I'm thinking of somewhere else. can't get him. Tell you what I'm going to do. Pick up my torch, go downstairs here a bit to get back out of the death zone and put the, the torch down again. Maybe we'll just go across here and put the torch down over here. On well, that blazing juggernaut's attacking me like that. And he can't attack me anymore. So we can just press shift and attack him. I'd rather not leave him here, so let's go and get rid of him. I right, got him good. Now there's some more juggernauts over. There's some more spawners over here, but they're not too difficult. I should be able to pick this up. 
Did it burn anyway? And another one over here. Let's go and get this one. Good. Now we can eat again. Let's get rid of that one. What else have we got? I know we don't want. Oh, this stuff you're picking up is ridiculous. Fills up your inventory, no problem whatsoever. Um, in fact, I might as well put this down over here. Let's put this down here. And let's go and stick everything that we've got into that. I don't like doing this because this I'm spending time. And I don't want to spend the time doing this at the moment. If you see what I mean. But it's better doing it now than later on when you've got no space whatsoever. Good. Right, I think that is the lot. Now we've got a doorway here. I should be able to open this door. And there was a mob behind her. I saw that. Oh, those things. That good. We can get rid of them. I want to eat, don't I? Let's do that. Casually eating while I'm doing this is ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, they got a piggy. Right. So, right mouse button down. Some of these are attacking me a bit. I'm not doing too much damage, I don't think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back again, just to get out of this zone. Then we come back again and we reset our time. Oh, another heart, good. So right, now it's time to go down this thing and I want to get my Torch, I need my interdiction torch for me, that's very important actually. Where's he gone to? Here. Oops. See, as I said. <laughs> right. Actually, probably better to leave that out of the way and he can come and get me again. Should probably be doing now. Go around here. Oops, what have I just done? <laughs> right, good. He can't get me now. Even these things have so much health, I've got to stick that. Another heart, let's get these eaten. What have you got? Of course I've got to eat again. Right, we start down. So let's start down here. This is the first passageway. Let's start down here. Now normally, from what I've seen before, take this with us, they will find some spawners in the roof. Let's go down this one. We always keep to the right, first of all. So let's put this torch down here like that. And there's a spawner, for example. Let's get rid of that one. Put another torch down here. Keep going, so we say where we are. Right, we've been to the end of this one. Come out of this now. I will put down a piece of wall. So I need a space. That's my wall is here. So I know I've done that passageway, basically like that. So when we're coming back here, we'll, we'll do this again. We'll know where we've been. Another spawner, of course, and lots of these, like that. And we keep going down here. We're checking this one. Let's put this torch down here like this. Too slow. Another spawner. Another dead end. Okay, we'll put a torch down here, so we've done that one. Come back out of here. We have to go down here. We'll put the wall down here, like this. So we're going to go down this passageway. Let's put this down. There's a piggy down there. We don't want to get attacked by the piggy. So there's a spawner here. Let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of the piggy. So we've got eight minutes to go. 
Give me a pig. I can't take that off. Oops, I've got there's another spawner, of course. I've got to keep that out of the way. So this time we're going to go down here. And that's the end of that passageway. So we'll go down this one. Keep an eye on above you. So every corner, there's another one. Dead end, good. So I've put one piece of wool down here, so we've done that bit. Go down to this one now. I don't really got enough wool. But that's the end of that one. So we can actually take this piece of wool with us now. No tool good. We go all the way back again here. Until we get to the next junction on the left. Which is basically here. So we go down this one now. Another one. Not quite sure what's down here. A lot of fire, fiery pig. Let's get rid of that. Put that there. Get him out of the way. Any? Nope. None. Okay. So we get rid of this guy. torch down here. There's probably another spawner around here somewhere. Yeah, got that one. Another spawner. Another spawner. another one of them things right where's my doodah can't find it i'll have to do it the hard way one hundred and sixty seven goodness gracious me my sword will breaks in i've got to watch that as well where did i put my interdiction torch good I don't know where I put my interdiction torch. Might have left it back there somewhere. Let's get these two hearts into it. Let's get down here. Let's eat a bit as well. I really need the interdiction torch if I come across any. Um... Oops, these things. Not this one. Come on. Okay, zombie pigment can't see me. Oh, the spawn at first, didn't see that. Get that out of the way. Another one of those. He went down fairly quickly. Where's my timer? Tell you what we're going to do. Oh, another one up there. Let's just get that one. So we're down here at the moment. Let's just go back a bit. Because I've left my. I'm sure I've left my interdiction torch down somewhere, nor other than lost it. <laughs> Phew, that was giving me a bit of stress, I can tell you. Right, we've four minutes, so we've got to get back in f four minutes. So where are we? We've done that one, let's take that off there. Been this way is that a loop? It looks like that's a loop. Let's go down here then. And then we've come to a dead end. So now we're going to come out of this. We 
done that. We've got no torches down here, that's interesting. Let's put one down here. I must have missed one. Oh, is this a zombie pig? Oh, okay, there's a dead end there. What's that? Oh, one of those little things. It must be spawning from somewhere. I must have missed a spawner. I have a look at that. Right, it's time for me to get out of here. So we shall get out of here. Okay, let's do it the easy way. I shall go back to base. We shall come back there another time. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't found it yet, but we've done quite a lot. We got rid of a lot of mobs. Oh, and I need a break to be dead on with you. It's quite hard work doing that. I will, I will be honest, it's uh, a bit of a stress. And it doesn't matter, I've got 10 minutes now, I can actually cool down. But hearts wise, not done too badly, but look at all of these spawners. I need to get rid of these anyway. Inventory is just full. Just too much stuff. In fact, I don't need this. Let's get rid of this bucket. Something I've got in my inventory that I didn't really want. But I think that's actually not too bad. I think the inventory is now clear, isn't it? What about this katana? The katana's 200... Bl ah, OK, I really do need to... Before we go back again, I'm going to repair that. So, for my last part of this... Um, episode what have we not done today so i'm going to have to leave you in suspense until we go back to that one again because while i'm talking actually <laughs> it actually takes a lot longer to do the things that we want to do so i'm going to get rid of this stuff here i've got my interdiction torch which is very very essential the only thing that can happen is when you get a nasty magic mob um and it fires things at you like and it basically drops fire and then it'll burn it up and that's actually really bad that was why i was being putting it on the sides but um let me have a quick look in here i think oh yes there's one more thing bob the big pats i didn't finish his tip but i did i did set it up ready to do this and so his tip was this. I showed you this before. Putting a, a hopper on a, a, tr a bonsai hopper on a, on a on a oak crucible, and you get water. Now what I did here is I turned it on, and we actually filled up this tank. So it's definitely working. And I put this on this hopper on here to see whether or not we'd get anything out of this, but we don't. So that's fine. So I can remove that. And the very last thing I'd like to do is to upgrade my experience drum because it's full. So I'll do that now, and then we'll call that a day. It's quite a straightforward thing, actually, because it's uh, to do this. We just need some climb bottles, which is another word for little bottles. So we need three pieces of glass. And we make some bottles. So the bottle recipe, I think, is just three pieces of glass like, like that, and you get three bottles. And then we can make some climb bottles. So we need two ender pearls. Where are the ender pearls here? So we need six ender pearls. And all you do is you put your bottles in the corner with two ender pearls like this. And then we make these climb bottles. I made three, okay fine. And then what we do is we come along to this drum here, bash it one, pick it up, and let's press it in here, look at the uses of this one. And we can do this. Gigantium drum. And that was we made those demon ingots earlier on. Now this thing holds sixty-five thousand buckets of whatever so in this case it's going to hold 65,000 buckets of experience now I did do what Mecha LSD said and you can see on the bottom right hand corner of my mini map there are no mobs in the um, mob farm because I knocked out all of the um, what did I knock out all of the cursed earth I put it back I just put soil back in again and put some spikes down in case there was a gas that decided to spawn there 
and he would grab it. I also made a gas tier. Um, that, no, I made a gas seed. So now, I don't need that cloud, but I don't know if it's got any other uses actually. Let's so look at that while I'm here. And that's its only use. So maybe I'll upgrade another one of those another time. Um, oh yes, a gas seed. So now I've got some gas essence coming in like this. So if we take stack of that, for example, I don't need this gas essence anymore because I think we probably with that we've got about enough to make uh, six thirty-two seeds or something. No, sixteen seeds. That's right, sixteen gas tiers. So how many gas tiers do I probably need? Probably about sixteen. So what I'm going to do now is the last thing is I'm going to plant. That was actually quite a task. I will I will be honest. It was quite a it was quite a challenge to get all of the bits ready because it's a tier five seed I think. Um, and I've got another. So what did I do with it? Put it over here. I'm going to plant the aluminum seed where the gas seed was. I can always do it again. No big deal. We just come along here and put it into the cloche. But for now, we need probably more. We probably need more aluminum than anything else. So, and also I didn't show you this end seed here. This one is. I made it. It was another tier five seed, as you can see, a very pretty one. And I think uh, this is the gas seed in it. That salt peter seed. Yes, I made a salt for peter seed as well. Signalum seeds. I just picked up something there. Redstone seeds. Gas seeds. So let's put this luminum essence in here like that. Um, did I just pick up? Look at all those things I've got from just being away for that short period of time. Some salt peter essence. But there's no essence in this chest at the moment, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to have to empty that out. But I can do that in my own time, can't I? So get rid of those. In fact, I'm keeping the seeds in this chest now because it's only going to get water into this chest. The rest of it's going to get sent out and get put into here. Ah, there we go. Some luminum essence. So I can go and fill this in. So I can do that. That's strange. I ran. Wrong place. Let's go and put this into over here. And then we can make some luminum ingots. Uh, in fact, I think I... Nope. I need a space. Ah. I'd like to put it over here, but it's obviously not going to happen. Let's put it in here like that. Oh, there was a place. No, I'll leave this up there. So we've got three already. So that will be able to make some aluminum ingots. They were actually a bit of a pain to make, I will be honest. I've got this saltpeter essence. Let's get rid of that as well. So I made a saltpeter because I've got some nitro. I made the nitro using... Uh, did I show you that? Sandstone. Putting sandstone through the um, pulverizer, I got some nitro out of it. So we can make um, cryothium dust. Uh, I think it's cryothium, cryothium dust that we need for that, isn't it? So until next time, I wish you all the best. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We shall carry on uh, with the excursion of the maze and see if we can actually get the loot. So until then. Bye for now.